Hello, everyone. Thank you for taking a few moments to watch this video. As some of you know, uh, coming up in the new year, I'm going to be offering a new course, Painting with Stillness. And along with the new course, I'm going to be offering a new version of Painting Through Modern Masters, Cezanne and Matisse. So in Painting with Stillness, we're going to be exploring the more a slower, more contemplative take on painting. And in the Modern Masters series, we're going to be working with movement. I tend to think of it as movement. So there's stillness and there's movement and they really complement each other. So with the Painting Through Modern Masters series, we get to explore, uh, experiment in, in, in different ways of working, uh, uh, trying out and experimenting uh, in all these different directions. And it, it, with modernism, we got this incredible possibility of creative freedom and exploring in all kinds of ways and individual expression. The difficulty is it's hard. <laughs> it's hard for each of us to, to arrive at our way of working. And I found over the years that it really helps to look to all these different modern masters. What, what were they doing? What were they interested in? What were their questions? What were their ways of working? And through that interaction, I'm able to understand more about my own sensibility. What do I care about? How do I want to work? So with Cezanne, what, why, why do we start with Cezanne? And what's the big deal? And why was he such a game changer? So when Cezanne is going to paint a still life or a landscape, it's not really the landscape or the still life that he's painting. He's really trying to give expression to his perception of the landscape or the still life, his experience, his inner experience of the motif. And so with Cezanne, the, the inner experience, the subjective experience starts to take on this major role in the making of a painting explicitly. And that changes everything for the 20th century and for modernism. And then we come to Matisse and Matisse takes Cezanne further. So we're gonna take Cezanne and we're gonna explore for four weeks. How did he set that up for himself? And what does that mean for us? And so there'll be a series of exercises that we'll go through that I'll be facilitating how to deal with still life through the lens of Cezanne. And then we'll move to Matisse and see, well, what's Matisse doing? And what's he doing with the, uh, the shaping and the patterning and the color? Again, taking his inner experience in relation to the motif and exploring it, compositional play, all of these sorts of things. And we're going to be doing that for four weeks with Matisse. And that will help us understand more about our own sensibility, our own temperament as painters. How do we want to work? What's possible? And yeah, so space is limited. If you think you may be interested, please contact me. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, oh, and after the eight weeks of Cezanne and Matisse, we're going to do in the spring, eight weeks with Diebenkorn. And uh, looking forward to that. We did a, a session with Diebenkorn last year in studio. It was a blast. So I'd like to do something online with, with uh, folks that are interested in the spring. What else? I think, I think that's it. Thank you for taking a few moments now to watch this. And I look forward to hearing from you. Uh, and keep painting, keep going, keep making stuff. Okay. Be well, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.